jobs continue to surge in October, showing signs of the nation's job market still remains tight. Employers added 261,000 jobs last month. That's down from 315,000 in September, but more than economists' expectations. The unemployment rate rose slightly to 3.7% from 3.5% in September. The latest report comes as the Federal Reserve tries to curb inflation by hiking interest rates in an effort to soften the labor market. For more, I want to bring in Jacob Sunshine. He is a markets reporter at Barron's. Thank you so much for making time to crunch these numbers with us. Um, the employment figures show job growth is slowing, but very gradually. So tell us how that impacts the way in which the Fed assesses the labor market. Look, obviously the Fed wants to see, needs to see the labor market cool down. We are starting to see that. I mean, let's start there. That is starting to happen. The unemployment rate going up a little bit, just, just a tick here, and wage growth 4.7% year over year, but not the 5% uh, we saw uh, in, a, in the last result. But you really, you, the Fed needs to see inflation actually start to come down. The expectation for CPI, Consumer Price Index, year over year for October is going to be 8% year over year, right? So the, this, was, this was probably, this jobs report was probably one of the first few steps uh, as an indicator that inflation is going to start to decline a little bit. But until the Fed sees inflation decline more meaningfully, way down from 8%, it's not really going to stop hiking rates so quickly. There's not going to be a, a, an abrupt pivot. Good morning, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Saturday, November 5th, 2022. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. I hope you enjoyed the jobs report that I shared at the opening. Only did a minute and 30 of about a four and a half minute video, but it was what I wanted to cover. I want to cover two different articles right now as well, and we're going to get our thoughts of it. I will read the article, but I'm also going to tell you my opinion because that's what you're here for, to hear what I think. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in on this Saturday morning. It's especially humbling to see over 14,600 subscribers on YouTube, as we're less than 400 away from 15,000 now, and I can't thank you enough. The members of Tom's Army, I believe we're at 212 this morning. So I appreciate everybody who's willing to pay their hard-earned money of the $9.99 a month to show that support and pay it forward. Make sure you're in the Telegram if you are part of Tom's Army. So that you get the full experience. So, XRP price prediction. Bull run in the making for the XRP gang. Make sure to hit that like button too as it really does help me go through the analytics. Don't make me look like an asshole by watching my video 12 or 1500 times with 50 likes. That would suggest that people aren't liking the video. If you're not liking the video, that's fine. Make sure to hit that dislike button so I can see it in the analytics. Ripple price rallied by 10%, establishing new monthly highs at 50 cents. An influx of bullish volume is displayed, hitting, hinting that the uptrend move is genuine. Invalidation of the bullish scenario is a breach below $0.45. Cents. XRP price produced a strong rally into an anticipated target zone. The digital remittance token could be in the beginning stages of a much larger movement in the future. Key levels have been defined to gouge XRP's next move. XRP price shows strength. XRP price pulled off an impressive resurgence on Friday, November. Ripple's... Price action has been contracting progressively throughout the fall, printing lower highs and higher lows. Along the way, the previous bullish trade idea proposed that a spike into the 50 cent barrier would occur as a subtle bullish divergence was spotted on a smaller time frame. The bulls fully validated the bullish thesis, prompting a 10% spike into the anticipated 50 cent zone. Ripple price currently auctions at 49 cents. The bullish move spiked through the 8 day exponential and 21 day simple moving averages. The momentum through the indicators could induce a bullish cross if the cross occurs. An additional uptrend rally targeting the 56 cent liquidity zone could occur. The volume profile indicator confounds the bullish idea as a massive uptick in transactions as displayed during the recent hike. The relative strength index has breached overbought, 
Conditions hinting that the underlying strength of the bulls is very powerful. If market conditions persist, actually we could witness an uptrend weekend targeting 56 and potentially 58 cents. Invalidation of the bullish outlook could occur if the recent 10% uptrend is reversed. A breach of the 4522 level could induce further decline targeting the 38 cent congestion zone, which is around the extended bear flag. Such a move would result in a 30% decrease from current ripple prices. So that's a pretty good uh, indicator of what's to come. And now I want to take a look at the XRP chart, and then we'll end it by looking at a relisting spree for XRP on exchanges soon. Maybe, but only if these conditions are met. So as we can see this morning, Bitcoin is up 148 points, 0.7% to 21,301. I don't think this is any surprise to anybody who's been watching me, as I still think if this can continue to move up, we have a targeted move. As you can see, we broke out of the descending triangle. We have this uptrending support, the parabolic we fell through, but came quickly back up after holding the 200 last night. Now we're probably going to come and see if we can hold 21,162. It's just a 140-point drop, nothing major. And then if we do, we have to get above here to about 21,623. And we break 21,623, then you're off to the races. Then 24,000, 22,200 opens up. So we have a couple different moves that could happen, but first we have to break that targeted level, and then our next big move is going to be up to 24,900 approximately. So we have a lot of stuff that can happen with Bitcoin, with XRP on the Saturday morning. Yes, we lost the parabolic spike. No big deal. I said yesterday we would likely come up to the second level, but now if we lose this level, it would tell you that we're not ready yet, because if you look at the two hour, it's starting to get there, but the four hour to me... I know a move is coming. It feels like it in some way. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're ready yet. It looks like we still need to consolidate more. I want it to pump. Well, I mean, I, I prefer it to dump. But if it's going to pump, I can make money either way. So that's where I think if we lose this area today, we could have a quick dump down to like that 46, 46, 45 area, which sucks. Because it needs the veil of, it could have to verify this breakout point. And it doesn't really matter where we put this. It hasn't um, broken this out yet. Because we can even move this. Because I know there's a lot of micromanaging of the market right here. I mean, we could technically, but we would have to come from the drop point. so tough though with xrp because you're trying to find a spot that makes you feel good about it but at the same time nothing really makes you feel good because we could even start right here which is probably where i would choose because it started the pattern so you can see how it bounced off of here perfectly so it might have to come back up to one of these uptrends as long as we hold this though and don't break it where it's at at this 49 cent level approximately it can use this and bounce right up to 52 48 but if it breaks this it's gonna have to come down and reconsolidate so just pay attention to this this morning i know there's a lot to go with xrp but it's actually a lot more simplistic than it looks xrp is really starting to try to prepare for a breakout and the next main buy-in point is if we get over 52 or 53 cents here get on top of this and then you have a guaranteed play once you get on top of this up to at least 60 cents that's the top of this formation right now my targeted move is all the way up at 65. Here, let me go to this. That's the top of the formation. I don't want to scare anybody by showing you that yet. But my targeted move that's been out here for a very long time is 65, 62. And that's if we can break these channels properly. Now, I've cautioned many times that this pattern does not have to break out of this bull flag. I just believe it needs a rejection at 52, 48 at minimum. That's all. If it gets rejected there, then obviously this bull flag can continue playing out and we'll finish pushing it across. But as of right now, we're still within the shit zones. This was a shit zone and this is a shit zone. You want to get the top to short it or the bottom to long it. That's it. You don't want to be caught in the middle. Right now, you got the shit zone here where a lot of people got screwed. Right now, again, because it's probably going to have to reconsolidate. You want to be either up here, play the top up, or play this as a rejection to short back down to the bottom of the bull flag or you play this for a long 
when it gets down here back up or you can wait if it breaks this hits it back and you play it as a short to the bear flag that's very simple on xrp this morning don't overanalyze it now let's finish with this a relisting spree for xrp on exchanges soon maybe but only if Ripple's problem started with the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC started looking into how that company advertised and sold its XRP tokens. Since then, the SEC has maintained that the token is a security and as such violates SEC requirements, although the SEC has maintained this position. For a long time, Ripple Labs continues to claim that the SEC's assertion is unfounded. Some Ripple effects also began to manifest once Ripple's legal issues with the SEC came to the fore. While some exchanges opted to stop providing XRP to US users, other exchanges decided to delist the cryptocurrency. However, could XRP be moving towards recovering those listings? One of the most recent events in the case was the SEC's acceptance of a move from Ripple to hear the amicus brief in the matter. There have been a steady stream of briefs since then, but one in particular stood out. One of the largest cryptocurrencies exchanges in the United States, Coinbase, filed a brief in favor of Ripple Labs. Um, it sided with Ripple and stated that the SEC's lawsuit is more about picking on the defendant rather than upholding regulations as one of the exchanges that delisted XRP and is yet to relist it. This action sparked speculation that relisting might be in the works. Another North American cryptocurrency exchange went ahead and announced the relisting of XRP while rumors were still circulating about Coinbase relisting. It was recently revealed that XRP would be relisted on the, crypt the Canadian cryptocurrency exchange Newton. The founder, Dustin Welper, made the announcement earlier in the week via a tweet. There was an immediate outpouring of reactions with many people voicing their desire for Coinbase and other exchanges to follow suit. These developments may spark discussion about relisting XP, even if, it, if no ma other major exchange or their management has shown any signs of interest in doing so. The fact that Ripple seems certain to reach a favorable settlement, no matter which way the outcome ultimately fails or falls, could also play a role. Um, there has been a steady influx of people backing Ripple Labs' case against the SEC in court. There have been over 75,000 people and 12 organizations that have filed an amicus curiae brief in support of Ripple. However, the SEC isn't giving up just yet. They've asked for an extension until November 30th to file a reply. They also asked for a deadline for the brief submission with a high page limit. And also, they asked for an extension out to January 9th, FYI. And Ripple has already agreed with it. So this case is going to go to at least January 9th. Um, looking at the XRP on the daily time frame, it revealed that that price has appreciated by more than 50% since the commencement of the rally. Despite the hike, however, it, is, it has so far failed to overcome the resistance level between 48 and 52 cents, which that 52.48 level is so critical right now. On the other hand, the support level was strong between 44 and 41 cents. The relative strength index line was shown to, to be below the neutral line, indicating an overall bear trend. However, the RSI's placement just below the neutral line suggests that the bear trend was not a strong one. So that's what we're looking at. Make sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing to Tom's Army. Pay it forward. Join. Um, also subscribe to the channel and join the more than 14,600 other people on the channel. And if you want to join Tom's Army or join me on any of the exchanges, this is the easiest way to do it's it. Put in the video description below. Hit more. Then you can join Tom's Army. You can donate. And you can also join me on BitGet. You can join me on MEXC in the USA, especially if you're afraid to join BitGet. If you're already on BitGet, I suggest continuing to use it. I still use it all the time. I still like it. It's just new users might be prohibited to use it on, uh, from the USA. If you're already a user, you can continue using it as such. And then um, more content below. Stay blessed, everybody.